Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val53 Tarot. She's a brief view as well. Thank you. Something is not mixing well, Gemini. Is it the cards? Is it the energies? Is it the people? What is it? Okay, I'll get the cards out first and then I'll begin. Or maybe it's just a matter of gotta sit with it or sit in it. A little bit longer. Feel that. Wow. Hmm, almost. Almost. Is something or is someone destiny or fate? Or possibly is something fated to happen or fated to take place? Um, or is it not? Jumping into this Gemini, what they do show me, they have made some sort of decision to embark on some sort of new journey here. I feel like whatever this start is, it does feel more so focused around financial endeavors. So they, there is some sort of, in a sense, project or hobby or endeavor here that they are working on putting together for themselves. But what's interesting about this to me is the way things are coming, coming together, um, they're showing me that they're moving forward with this. They're going along for the ride. In a sense, it's an energy of someone here is very quiet, but they're not speaking on this. It's, it's an energy of like, well, I'll kind of tag along and I'll go with it, but actually mentally and emotionally, I'm not fully 100% on board with this. And whatever this energy of movement forward is, they're actually beginning to kind of have some sort of internal conflict about this. Um, see, mm -hmm, if I can grab it. It's an energy of all those thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts kind of racing through their mind, but you'd probably never know it. Um, cause they definitely are keeping, <laughs> keeping a lot of this internal energy to themselves. And it does make sense how there is that internal conflict It's causing a lot of mixed emotions and feelings that they are definitely want to kind of sit with and process is really at the same time, find that personal balance with, um, and this is what's very interesting overall with this energy. It's a whole lot of energetic, um, how do I say this Build up. It's a ramp up. Um, and this is where it gets very fascinating. They show me that whatever this journey is, it's kind of like I, they make the decision. And then a second later, they're like, I'm not actually on board with this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do immediately? And this is what's fascinating is the longer they sit with this overall situation, the circumstances and process everything, they're beginning to reminisce about the better days. Now, whatever this past energy is, there's some sort of new love here that is presented or created from the reminiscing. This could be a connection between you and someone from your past, or maybe you just have a history, a record with them. Don't exactly know. Um, I just heard someone say police record? Possibly. Um, because overall with this new love, they're also at the same time saying, what am I gonna do? Let me assess everything. And so even though there is this new love here, they're kind of saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, not so fast. 
let me try and figure out overall what my overall vision is, what I want to create a manifest for myself. They're taking some time to themselves. They're strongly considering how to work on things and make improvements, possibly regarding investments or financial situation or career setting, um, because some sort of financial opportunity is opening up. So sometimes I like to ask the question of, is it about love or is it about money? Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. It's an interesting outcome, I'll say that. It's um, They make the decision, but then they're not on board with their own decision. And then they're kind of battling themselves over it. But then they kind of discover things along the way. And it's like, huh, how can I, in a sense, um, mold or shape or form something to come out of this? Kind of like saying, I don't want to go to that party. Then all of a sudden there's some sort of like, let's just say financial connect. You never know how things will turn out, but let's see. So I'm going to have to just show you this one for proof, Gemini. This new beginning, it's clearly the two of you. But as you can see, one person is in their emotional fields and the other person is manipulating. There's no easy way to say that other than to just rip the Band-Aid off. It is what it is. Whatever, Like I said, whatever this new beginning is, someone's fully 100% emotionally okay with it. And someone's, like I said, withholding that emotional energy and being like, I'm actually not okay with it, but I'm not choosing to say anything. I'm going to kind of fight myself internally and deal with it on my own. The hermit, there's that solitude energy. Yeah, it's it's regarding everything. This, this almost feels like business matters. And that's what's fascinating is that they're kind of like, they don't like how things are moving forward, but they themselves know that they have quite a bit to kind of oversee and take care of here. To the point where they they're they're kind of they're even showing me like they are they know they know they're not on board with this, but they know at the same time they kind of have like I said um, whether it's called finagle whether it's called mold shape reform something. They know it, they know it, but they're still continuously fighting themselves about this. But what's fascinating is I kind of feel like they're choosing to stay in this because there is some sort of genuine connection regarding the past that new love has been created from. But they, again, they themselves are kind of wondering, like, is it or isn't it? Is it or isn't it? Again, there's that, that there's that, that doubt that's beginning to kick in repeatedly throughout this. And it's like, okay. When in doubt, get out. There's death. No, not that way. Yeah, yeah, they're they're realized, geez, they are realizing something about themselves here. And they're kind of like, I don't even want to put any work and effort into this. Um, or it could be the opposite of they're just like, I need to like obsessively focus on work and finances and money. It's like, I'm going to throw myself into money and maybe they'll just kind of skip over my emotions. It's like, or not do anything and kind of just sit there and hang out in the background. Either or. Hmm. What is it that they do want? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, that's fascinating. They want closure. They, they want to put their mind at ease. And that's what's fascinating is they're, they're kind of like, I don't want to give any more to this situation. I just want my mind to be at ease. They're like, I just need a break. I just need a break. Give me a break. Maybe that's what someone's telling someone. Just give me a break. Not in like a joking way. It's like, no, seriously, give me a break. Like, stop. Enough. Yeah, like I said, like I said, um, and there's the financial connection. And I say financial connection because, again, there is that financial opportunity opening at the end of this. But ultimately, they're still saying, I'm not even too sure if I still want this. There's a connection here between the two of us, but 
I'm not too sure where it's gonna land. Yeah, they're not even too sure if this emo this uh, financial opportunity is gonna make them happy or fulfilled. They're like, well, and that kind of uh, blends over into the connection between the two of you somehow. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone here, Gemini, we do have shown up, as I mentioned, strong Virgo. We also have Gemini, Capricorn. Libra, Scorpio, Aries, and that is all. Goodbye.